Rokedaki is a solid AK character. He wins games no matter the play style. And I noticed that a lot of people want to start playing Urokadaki even more in their rank matches. However, people don't know how to use Urokadaki or don't know how to use him properly. So fear not, this video I'm going to provide an in-depth guide to making Urokadaki S tier. By the way, if you like Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles, then this channel is certainly for you. So consider subscribing as we're very close to 1k, bro. Enjoy. So without further ado, let's just go for Urokadaki's full moveset, yeah? Let's go with the neutral combo. Not bad neutral combo. And let's go for his down tilt combo. Just keep in mind that you can use the down tilt combo for guard pressure. And let's go for his up tilt combo. His up tilt combo can extend combos in terms of attack, so you guys keep that in mind. And now let's go for his grab. Very nice grab. You know what I'm saying? Slams him to the ground like WWE. Cheese! You know what I'm saying? And now let's go for his jump tilt. You can use this to extend your combos or bait opponents rather than just dashing to extend your combo. So yeah, you guys keep that in mind. And let's go for his tilt. His tilt has loads of range. So keep that in mind. You can also use that to extend combos as well. And uh yeah, his tilt has a lot of range. So you man, just keep that in mind in that, yeah. So now let's go through Rokodaki skills. So the first skill, Water Vault Basin, if you cancel a little bit, you can add light attacks or other special moves to it. But if you do the full move, then it's going to be a hard finisher move in which your opponent is going to get in a hard knockdown. So let me demonstrate to you. So as you can see, by law, the full move puts your opponent on hard knockdown. But if you cancel the move a little bit, you can combine moves with attack or supers, whatever you prefer to do. Let's go for the second skill, the water roll. Um, the water roll, you know what I'm saying, is, is a move that has a lot of range. So you guys keep that in mind. If you do the full move, it has a lot of range. But if you if you cancel the move a little bit, like I said, this move is a is a cancel move. Like you can cancel this move if you want a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You can cancel a little bit of this move. And if you if, if you cancel a little bit, it just does the normal water roll with trash range. But if you do the full move, you can do it and also you can combine attacks with all supers with it so yeah it's not a finisher move so last but not least let's go for his last skill so now the last move is the special move is the trap move so if your opponent gets if your opponent falls for this trap i'll demonstrate it if your opponent comes to this trap he gets caught and then I can start a combo. So basically, it's basically like a trap. Just think of it as like a trap. It's basically a trap. It's a special trap move. Basically. So if your opponent step foot to this trap, he's going to get caught. Just like that. Easy. And plus, you can extend your combos with it as well. It's a special combo extending move. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's a very good special move. I can't lie. I feel like Rokodaki's trap just make him even more S tier because that makes him one of the best zoners in the whole entire game because you know what i'm saying you can easily zone just putting his traps and then you'll you'll force your opponent to come to you and then when your opponent comes to you you can easily i mean put the trap and then the opponent will get caught with the trap and yeah you can definitely add combos with the trap as well if you guys didn't know but i'll show that later in the video so speaking of zoning we're gonna get into the next stage of the video where i talk about a rokadaki's game plan so the strategy with rokadaki or the gameplay of rokadaki is just that you can either be aggressive or zone if you want to at the same time like you can choose whatever strategy you want because with zoning you have the traps and you can easily zone zone or play defensive and allow your opponent to come to you and you and your opponent makes the move and he makes the mistakes and you can get the momentum or you can be aggressive with the wall tool because the wall tool is so fast and has a lot of range which makes rokadaki like easily a tier because you can have two strategies you can play defensively you can zone if you want to or you can play aggressive because he has the water wall basin and the water wall so you guys it's pretty much it's pretty much all up to your play styles all up to you, you can play how any type of playstyle with rokadaki like there's no there's no limits because he can you can play aggressive with him because he has the water he has the water wall you can zone with him because he has the traps or you can play defensively because again he has the traps so or he has light pri priority because he has long range light priority like you guys is it's like endless uh, opportunities like endless he has basically three type of strategies three type of game plans which makes urokadaki so great like unlike murata where you only need one uh game plan which is be aggressive and you know what i'm saying put pressure on your opponent 
with Rokadaki, you can put pressure on the opponent or you can zone if you want to or you can play defensive literally you can do anything with Rokadaki. like you know what i'm saying that makes Rokadaki a strong a tier character so yeah you guys it's all up to you on how you want to play with Rokadaki, if you want to zone if you want to apply pressure to your opponent by using his traps or if you want to beat your opponent by basically you know what i'm saying mix your opponent adding the traps and then you know what i'm saying mix up mixing up mixing them up your combos or you can zone and play defensive if you want to and allow your com opponent to come to you or force your opponent to come to you all of that and you can get your momentum all of that all of that that's pretty much it like that <laughs> the, the possibilities are endless So in terms of the best assist for Rokadaki, you can basically use anybody you want and he either works with Rokadaki because he's a zoner and he can play defensive or he can play defensively but if you are more of an attacking player and you want to play aggressively with Rokadaki and, and give a lot of pressure to your opponent then definitely use Nezuko because she literally covers the surface area and her assist can literally make you easy, give you an easy combo as well and easy up combo and obviously Rokadaki is very good in the air as well so in my opinion Nezuko is one of the best she can cover the whole surface area if that's if you want to play aggressively if you want to put a lot of guard pressure on your opponent Nezuko is the best support for that so uh, yeah and that's it for let me know what I missed in this guide in the comments down below and obviously I made a video on on all the advanced tech found in the Demon Slayer game so if you guys are interested in watching that then go watch it, it? like the video because this video took a lot of time to make and you might subscribe while, while you're at it and yeah you man i'll see you guys very very soon make sure you guys stay blessed see you later